Suline 1003 is a Mikado-type steam locomotive built in March of 1913 by the American Locomotive Company with a wheel arrangement of 282. It means it has two pilot wheels, eight drive wheels each measuring at 63 inches in diameter, and two trailing wheels. This locomotive weighs at 295,000 pounds and can hold up to 35,000 pounds of coal and 10,000 gallons of water. Sioux Line 1003 was retired in August of 1959 and donated to the city of Superior, Wisconsin. Between 1993 and 1996, the locomotive operated under steam again and attended a number of events. Currently, Sioux Line 1003 is stored at the Wisconsin Automotive Museum and it's owned by the Steam Locomotive Heritage Association in Hartford, Wisconsin. Recently, the locomotive has been known for participating in its annual Santa Train event in downtown Hartford. In August of 2017, Sioux Line 1003 made a special trip to Chicago, Illinois for a fundraiser at the Galewood Metro Station for the Shriners Hospital for Children in Chicago. Our production team was on trackside to witness this special event. This year, Sioux Line 1003 is scheduled to make a short trip to Slinger, Wisconsin on Saturday, November 2nd, 2019. One week later, Sioux Line 1003 will participate in the Santa Train event in downtown Hartford, Wisconsin. Join our crew out trackside as we follow Sioux Line 1003 through the Wisconsin countryside. This is Sioux Line 1003, steaming in Wisconsin. On Saturday, November 2nd, 2019, our camera crew headed out to Hartford, Wisconsin to see Sioux Line 1003 make the short trip to Slinger, Wisconsin. The agenda for the train was to make a short trip westbound to a small yard to rearrange the train for their arrival in Slinger. Then the train will be traveling eastbound to Slinger, Wisconsin where the train will be put on display for the public from 9.30 a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m for the grand opening of E.H. Wolf and Sons. This portion of the trip would take about 4.74 miles. It's a chilly morning in Hartford, Wisconsin, and our camera crew arrived at the Wisconsin Automotive Museum at around 6 o'clock a.m., and we happened to catch Sioux Line 1003 steaming up.
At 7.30 a.m., our camera crew prepared to catch Sioux Line 1003 push its train into the small yard located off of Airport Drive to rearrange the train. A small group of rail fans were already fighting the cold while patiently waiting for the train to come into view.
After getting a few videos and photos of the train in the yard, our team made it over to Wilson Road to catch Sioux Line 1003 coming around the bend. As we arrived in Slinger, there was already a crowd anxiously waiting for Sioux Line 1003 and its train. The snow began to fall by the time we set up our cameras and the train came into view at 9.37 a.m. From 10 o'clock a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m., Sioux Line 1003 remained on display for the public. People got a chance to look inside the caboose as well as the cab of Sioux Line 1003. There were even some people that got a chance to blow Sioux Line 1003's whistle. I gotta get, I gotta get this. This is actually kind of cool. Here, we'll get like the cab. I don't know. Our production team returned to Hartford near the post office to catch Sioux Line 1003 and its train shoving back to the small yard to drop off its train. Then the locomotive will be traveling solo down the line for about 20 miles to Burnett, Wisconsin to refuel for coal.
After the train passed us in Hartford, we got ahead of the train and drove out to Iron Ridge, Wisconsin to see Sioux 1003 travel westbound in reverse. The train was running behind schedule, so this meant that the train and its crew would spend no more than 30 minutes for loading coal. An excavator was used to help load coal into Suline 1003's tender. Our team found this neat spot off of Swan Road, so we decided to film the train with the remaining fall colors in the background as the locomotive travels eastbound. Sit back and relax as our camera crew catches 1003 through Burnett, Horicon, and Iron Ridge before arriving back in Hartford to pick up its train.
Sioux Line 1003 slowly came into view at 4.50 p.m. We set up our cameras east of the small yard near Wacker Drive to catch the locomotive backing up to pick up its train before proceeding to the museum. Once the train is coupled up, Sioux Line 1003 will proceed eastbound to the Wisconsin Automotive Museum. Our production team caught up with the train at the museum where the crew began to put out the fire before putting the locomotive away for the night. The following week, Sioux Line 1003 is scheduled to appear in Hartford, Wisconsin for its annual Santa Train event. One week later, on Saturday, November 9, 2019, we returned to Hartford, Wisconsin to see Sioux Line 1003 participate in the Santa Train event. This event is usually held every year and children get a chance to meet Santa Claus in the Milwaukee Road caboose. We arrived in Hartford just before sunrise and our crew took a few videos and photos of the locomotive steaming up in the cold weather. In the distance, we heard a Wisconsin and Southern freight train coming towards Hartford and some of our crew members were at the right place at the right time to capture the two trains whistling at each other.
After chatting with the steam crew, our production team set up our cameras out trackside just outside of Hartford, near a river where the locomotive performed two runbys for us, before the locomotive is scheduled to make its grand entrance in downtown Hartford at 11.30 a.m. We grabbed lunch before returning to downtown Hartford to get more photos and videos of Sioux Line 1003. The general public gets a chance to view the cab of the locomotive as well as meeting Santa at the end of the train. The Santa train event concluded at around 2.45 p.m. and the train backed down the line and returned to the museum just before 3 o'clock p.m. The steam crew would drain out all the water and put out the fire in the locomotive to decrease steam pressure. Before it became dark outside, Sioux Line 1003 is pulled into the Wisconsin Automotive Museum by an air compressor.
As the train pulls into the museum, this would officially be the last event that Sioux Line 1003 would operate under steam for this year. Thank you for watching our coverage of Sioux Line 1003 steaming in Wisconsin. We like to send a special thank you to the Steam Locomotive Heritage Association and to those who made these events possible. For more information on Sioux Line 1003 and the Steam Locomotive Heritage Association, go to www.steamlocomotiveheritage.org. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and leave your comments down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat for more exclusive railroad content. This is Andrew Mangalinden signing off for now, and see you soon.